Hey, Commander. You see that Krogan female? Huh? 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 Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Welcome back to Mass Effect 3. This is Hill, and we are here in the cargo deck of the Normandy. And Sundarius has just upgraded his weapons to level 5, which I believe may be the maximum for a first-time playthrough. I, I could be wrong. At our level, though, I mean, we may level up and be able to unlock more, but... Anyhow, we have leveled up his weapons so that his cooldown is now 200%. We have changed his casual outfit. I think this is a modded outfit. It's a lot more professional looking, I think. Very good job. And we're going to come over here and do a little bit more talking before we get into the crux of battle. Hey, Commander. You see that Krogan female? Huh? 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 Up close and personal. I think the male's got the pretty gene. Really? Let's talk about Vega's family. You got family back on Earth? Yeah, an uncle. Retired military. Got a few cousins I haven't heard from in a while. You and your uncle close? Yeah. He was the reason I joined the Marines and was about the only good thing in my life after my mom died. No dad? He's there. Somewhere. But I'm not sure I'd call him family. Not anymore. I would like to find out how my uncle's doing, though. Okay, let's talk about his state of mind. You had a hard time leaving Earth. You still want to head back? Hell yeah. But I get it now. It's not where I'd be most useful. Not yet, anyway. We'll get back there. I know. And I'll do whatever it takes to get us there, Commander. Maybe no more shuttle crashes. No promises now that I've gotten the taste for it. Oh, Besides, wow. I like to keep Esteban on his toes. Hmm. Let's ask about his previous mission. You mentioned a mission you had against the Collectors. What happened? Pretty much what I said. Things went foobar and I was one of the few to make it out. You want the rest of the story, you're gonna have to get me really drunk, or... Or what? That's about it. Sorry, hmm. Commander. Just not interested in talking about that. Next topic? Uh, let's talk about these nicknames. What's with you and the nicknames? It's just my way of remembering people. Some people just don't match their names, you know? So, I just give them a new one. Okay, and let's talk about Cortez. I take it you and Lieutenant Cortez know each other. Yeah, Esteban did a stint on Fell Prime where me and my squad were stationed. I caught up with him on Earth a few months back. He's a good guy. Just don't tell him I said so. It go to his head. <laughs> okay. I'll talk to you later. You bet. What? I, I was hoping I would have unlocked something. Okay, nothing. No incendiary grenades. Nothing like that. Okay, fine. Just keep them to yourself. All right, let's head upstairs. We are going to go to the CIC. Let's see if Trainer has anything else to say. Commander, nice to see you again. How are you settling in, Trainer? I actually feel somewhat useful. It's been challenging to integrate data feeds for the War Summit. How are the systems holding? Well, I'm glad we performed stress tests. Specialist Trainer has been extremely helpful. The accuracy of our War Room data is a direct result of her work. Thank you, Edie. I'm still getting used to all of this. In the lab, we'd hoard everything, piles of tech everywhere. Out here, it's like living out of a shoebox. <laughs> yup. And this is just with the skeleton crew. You should see this ship when it's fully staffed. Oh, uh, no, Commander. I'm not complaining. This is wonderful. Back in the lab, we had to hoard because we had no budget. Now, Edie. Ariaki Tech uses a proprietary Ariaki. smart processing algorithm that could clean up our long-range data. Can we license it? We can. Analyzing and applying the upgrade now. 
The algorithm should reduce long-range strategic combat data analysis time by 3%. Impressive. If it means getting the equipment I need, I can quite happily live out of a shoebox. <laughs> okay. Let's see who else. Crew deck. So we've gotten in good with Liara. Let's see if Gara says anything new. Oh, here, here we are, people. We've got our new um, chef on board, and this is the person that is going to feed the fish. So this is part of the EGM mod, though, the Enhanced Galaxy mod. But it is good to see they actually put a person in the game. I mean, wow, these modders, I'm telling you. Great job. Here's Garrus. How's it going? Really, Garrus? That's all you got? How's it going? Okay. Some other time, then. We've talked to Eve. Don't think... Well, let's see. What's going on in here? Who is this human? Oh, this is the new doctor. Mm, hmm, perhaps stimulate cell regeneration with a... <laughs> oh boy, we got two Could. Solarians in here. Uh, but should just put... Oh, it's Eve. She's ready to talk again. Something else, Commander? Oh, okay. Oh, we have gone through all of this. That's Thanks all. for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. So, Dr. Chakwas has been relieved, I guess you can say for now. Her lab has been taken over. Okay, um... I'm not sure that I can remember who else I need to talk to. Alright, let's just go back up to the CIC. Where is, yes, the manifest? Crew manifest. Okay. Engineer Donnelly is now back on board. Okay. All right. We're, we're doing good. All right. So let's see what we've got left. All right. We're currently docked at the Citadel. And the only sector that we have left this, that will conclude Act 1, that is, is the Krogan DMZ. Let's go ahead and head there now. Wow. Everything happens on Tachunka. Can you believe this? <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm scared to scan, but I'm going to. Alright. I think the, the rule is that adequate that, or true that if there is a cluster with a mission oh, we've got plenty of fuel that there are no Reapers at least in Act 1. All right, I'm not going to go explore any of these other areas. So, now this is the thing. How do I know which mission? Well, I guess we're going to look. I mean, there's... Oh, look at this. We get to choose. Okay. Well, all right, folks, I think I'm going to have to sleep on this and decide which one of these missions I want to undertake first. Huh. Hmm. Because I don't know. I think there might be, there, there's like an optimal order to this. I'm not sure. But I'm going to, you know, sleep on it and see what is the best way of handling the missions on Tachanka.
Okay, well, that will end this brief episode. And in our next episode, it's going to be Boots on Tachanka. All right, folks, this is Hill, and I'm out. <laughs>